Akiva Eldar, who's joining us from Tel Aviv. He's a political analyst and columnist at Haaretz newspaper. Very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So Netanyahu has rejected the Hamas plan, calling it delusional. Is his dismissal of this proposal an official Israeli dismissal? I think that Netanyahu is trying uh, to eat the cake and have it. Uh, he uh, doesn't want to be portrayed as uh, someone who actually, as uh, you reported mentioned before, who has executed 100 Israelis, whom his government has actually abandoned, some people would even say betrayed, four months ago. So. Um, he doesn't actually leave the door open when he completely refuses to put a deadline to this war. Uh, but on the other hand, I think that uh, he doesn't want to say no mm. to uh, the president of the United States, who is personally involved in the, the efforts to release the prisoners. And for I want to remind you that there are several American citizens among them. Um, he doesn't want to uh, say no to Egypt and uh, to Qatar. Right. Um, so is Israel going to send? Is too... So is Israel going to send a delegation to Cairo for for this new round of negotiations? Then. Absolutely, Netanyahu is interested in the negotiations, but I'm not sure if, uh, as was mentioned before, uh, that the majority of the captives will be alive to wait. And they, they cannot wait until, uh, you know, Netanyahu and Hamas will find the absolute, the ultimate common ground. Mm. The gap is so wide. The captives are the last, if not the only card, it's hard to say, but they are the only card that Sinwar is keeping. Right. And uh, he will not let it go right. before he knows that uh, the uh, Palestinians who are, uh, for the second time, refugees, uh, and he himself and the leadership can get out of this alive. Right. So it's let me ask you. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask you a bit more about Netanyahu and, and uh, the reasons behind his dismissals. I mean, you say Netanyahu still wants to negotiate. The Americans and Qataris have said they believe that there are elements in this proposal that are workable. The Qataris have said it's positive. What issues precisely is Netanyahu um, and the Israelis, I, I guess, concerned about? What issues are they concerned about when it comes to this proposal? Is it the duration of the ceasefire, the notion of ceasefire itself? What, what are the main concerns for the Israelis here? The main concerns is uh, how and whether uh, Netanyahu can really meet his commitment to get rid of Hamas. And uh, uh, this is the minimum that he needs in uh, the political dimension. Uh, in order to survive politically, he has to make sure to his constituency that uh, there is not going to be another October 7th, mm -hmm. which, according to him, and maybe he climbed a very high, too high tree, and uh, there is no ladder to get out of there that, that uh, Hamas can afford to give him. Okay. Um, the, the only way now, right now is if uh, Qatar, maybe Egypt, will convince the leaders of Hamas to get out of Gaza, to have a safe passage to a third country, and... Uh, to allow some kind of a new government that will be led by the Palestinian Authority with some kind of participation of Hamas mm -hmm. in, in, this, in the day after the war. Okay. Akiva Eldar, thank you so much for sharing uh, your thoughts with us. Akiva Eldar is from uh, the Haaretz newspaper columnist there, joining us from Tel Aviv. Thank you for your time.